He ripped in half, was that what that was? Oh, I don't get to search the body? Oh, history. So, I guess this is it. I believe so, my host. Oh, her again? A tailor shop. That's right, she got split from her host for some reason. Eyes. A lost soul in I need think. of saving, and you want to rob its place of business. Or something happened to her Look host. Look at this dress I'm wearing. It's ruined. I figure I'm owed. Duty first, my host. Petty theft after. I'll see. Well then, uh, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. And then we shall continue. And back in business. Hey, Madeline? Yes, my host. Could you stop calling me that? Stop calling you what, my host? That. I'm no host. I am sorry, my host. She's that a host. what you are. Rain in buckets. Indeed. Most fortuitous. Fortuitous. It enables us to do our duty unperceived. And we can converse without any awkwardness. Great. Wouldn't want this to be awkward. Just think, I could have been dancing at the supper club tonight. If those contortions could be referred to as dancing, then you are correct. Huh. I'm not gonna apologize, you know. For what? Trying to transfer our link to that Joe Gould fellow? Like I said, I ain't gonna apologize. Oh, I didn't ask for this. that's right. Neither I forgot I about Joe host. Gould. Neither did I. You're not mad. After centuries of this existence, I have learned to put my personal feelings aside. Yeah, well, I ain't got centuries. Well, see ya. Certainly, my. Hey. Yes, my. Okay, there's nothing well, to talk about. Certainly. It's covered with gunk. I can't see through it. It's covered with gunk. It's boarded up. Nope. Breaking the windows? Probably not. Does she have to stare like that? Drives me batty. Oh wait, I can send her in. Duh. If I am going to enter, I the window is covered with dust. Whoop. If you could just wait here, my host. Uh-huh. It's not like I got anything else to do. Hello? Is anyone about? I am a friend. Nobody's there? Can we go? Zeus is playing tonight. If we hurry, we can catch him. Patience, my host. I sense a lost spirit here. We cannot leave our duty unfinished. It appears to be a coat of some kind. It has been a long time since I have seen my reflection. Hmm, so garish. Some clothing items. I believe these were caused by a pistol. It is a simple bell. A door leading to a... I cannot... I cannot... And she doesn't have the wind power I either. Cannot wait. I cannot. Sadly, all. Different notice. The notice reads Please ring bell for service. 
I am incorporeal. It is a simple. Okay, so I probably have to find a way to let her in to ring the bell. That'll probably bring out someone who's dead behind the desk. The room contains a few machines and piles of cloth. There is nothing else worth reporting. Is this a thing? No. A quiet night. I cannot open. Understandable. My host, Jocelyn Countess. Might be I have been her guide for two Oh, we have her name. Jocelyn Countess. My host. Yeah. Let's chat. Uh, I know this transition has not been easy. Yeah, well, I always thought my uncle was cuckoo. At least now I know why. We made fun of him, you know? I am aware. It pained him greatly. Yeah, I guess now everyone's going to make fun of me. So I got that to look forward to. Good times. Are you ready to take this seriously, my host? You don't think I'm serious? I think your head is in the clouds. Shows what you know. I think you've been dead too long. Dead too long? Whatever hey, do you what mean? What are you doing? I just want to live, you know? Stop Is that so wrong? The couch the you show, appear you living to me. I'm living for the dead. It's different. How so? It just is. I believe we should return to our- Yeah. Let me see if we can leave. I really wanna, but Maddie will get. Okay. So like a st ah, there we go. Loose brick. Time to break some windows. Yoink. Best key you could ever find. My host. My host. Boof. Sorry, you say something? Certainly nothing that matters any longer. Board it up, so. You crazy? I ain't picking up, even if I did put it. I have no idea how that got there, and nobody can prove otherwise. I like her. I ain't liking that. Ugh, stupid rain. I look horrible. Why would I want that? Huh, some kind of band. Danny and Linda Marconi? Never heard of them. Alright, that's probably gonna be They're all from at some last point. season. Danny and Linda Marconi. Jeez, what happened here? I ain't putting my fingers in those. There might be blood in there. Bullets it says, don't Ring bleed. The bell if I need You're help. Weird. Ding. Danny? Wait Danny, out a front. minute. Danny, where the hell are you? Wait just a goddamn Sorry for the minute. Wait, ladies, my assistant seems to be out. What can I do for you? So you worked at a clothes store? Oh, new angle in the apartment. It's about damn time. How long are you going to stare at that thing? It's getting dark. Just one more. It has to be here. What are you doing, anyway? A man was murdered last night, in the middle of a major blizzard. Believe me, I remember. Right. So how come nobody else has? Eh? I've been checking on every local news website all day. There's not a single mention of it. I called the police myself. We know they know about it. They must have suppressed the news, but why? I'm sure the cops got their reasons. Maybe if the guy's soul them. got ripped apart, erased it from history. I only care about what happened. After. I know. Which would be weird. But so the that would be the first thing that would be weird. On him. I was hoping a news report would give us his name, but it looks like we're on our own. Well, something familiar at least. Let's go talk to our pet cop. Maybe he knows something. Auntie Lauren and me. This was just before all the troubles began. Still got all the old photos from the old games, too. That's kind of cool. My parents' wedding. Yep. It's the only picture I have of them. They look so... young. The last article I ever wrote, and the first ghost I ever saved. 
I stopped updating this calendar around the time Joey came into my life. There's probably a connection there. I bought that clock at a tag sale years ago. It doesn't work, but for some reason I can't get rid of it. Some articles I wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. I hated working there and the paper's been dead for years. But for some reason I can't take them down. Because they're a non-interactive element of the background. Auntie Lauren gave that bear to me when I was a kid. His name is Griff, the P.I. bear. Although he's more the geriatric bear these days. There's nothing in there. I go through much less paper since I gave up writing. I miss it sometimes, but I just can't seem to find the time anymore. It's the intercom to the lobby. If anyone buzzes up, I can talk to them from here. That's gonna come into play later. It's a poster for the film Water Under the Bridge. It starred Frank Lyons. That was the dead guy from the last one. This article is about the Meltzer Foundation. I suppose they did some good in the end, but the death toll was too high. Oh yeah, the guy was using the uh, crazy lady to kill people or something. For months I expected the police to come breaking down my door, but it's been a year and nothing. Grandmother Patricia, my dad, and Auntie Lauren. I never met my grandmother. I don't think she was ever prepared for, well, this. This man's name is Danny Marconi. I only met him briefly as a very old man. Danny was uh, Joey's partner, I remember that much. They didn't really it's elaborate a on it. It's a former co-worker of mine. Jeremy was a friend, kind of. I never did get to know him well. Not Her when neighbor he was hasn't alive come up anyway. yet, but she's probably in here somewhere. Books on boat maintenance and navigation. I'm not making that mistake again. I've already read them, and That's I've got the digital the copies anyway. That's about the beginning of the last game. There were boat problems. I've had it for years, and it's only slightly coffee stained. It's an empty coffee mug. Why would I want to pick it up? Why not? These art tools belong to Claude Erden. Everyone thinks he killed himself, but at least I know otherwise. Killed by crazy ghost ladies. The seagull statue used to belong to Lisa Tenzin. I'll just leave that. I'm no art. It's a portrait of Joe Gould. It used to hang in the Mineta Tavern. That painting is almost 60 years old and was never taken care of much to begin with. I shouldn't move it. Oh, I can't look at the couch? I can't go to bed free yet. Couch. I have a full day ahead of me. Or rather... My bedroom's an oversized closet, but it's mine. It takes about an hour to boot. My old computer. Thank God the, God the coffee stands are still open. I think I'm really going to need them. It's your dime, sweetheart. All right, maybe we can't talk to the neighbor. Oh, it's you. Had a feeling you'd swing by. Detective? Let's chat. Uh-huh. You found a Jane Doe at the Karth house, right? Yeah, what about it? Her name was Mary Meehan. She was an actress with the Gotham Collective Theater Company. You sure about that? Yes. I won't ask how you know that. But we'll check out that name and see if you're right. At the very least, we can locate the family and tell them what happened. Thanks. I guess we owe you another one. I caught the evening news today. There wasn't one mention of the murdered man in Chelsea. That program hasn't been the same since they replaced that blonde anchor woman. Nobody else talked about it either. Not online, not any other news program. Nobody. You must have suppressed the news. Why? Because we're the cops, that's why. Look, before we take this any further, why are you so interested in this one? What makes this murder more important than any other? Because his soul got ripped in half right in front of me? He was killed right in front of me. And what, suddenly this makes it personal? Well, kinda. It might have something to do with me. Uh-huh. And why is that? Why is this murder so important? You're the one who sent me there in the first place. That can't be a coincidence. Ah. So... I don't know. Oops. That's why I'm asking you. You don't get to ask I me the space bar. Sorry. You need to tell me why this murder is so important. He was looking for me. He was? Why? I don't really know. Uh-huh. Did you know the guy? No, I didn't. 
So, how did you know he was looking for you? Uh... Wait, let me guess. You just do. Something like that. Something like that ain't good enough. What else you got? I was there. You know I was there. Surely I'm a suspect. You think I'm crazy? I made sure your name is nowhere near this thing. And unless you give me a good reason, it stays that way. So tell me, why is this murder so important? You've trusted me before. Why can't you trust me again? Trust has nothing to do with it. Look, uh -huh. I don't know what your deal is. I've never asked, and frankly, I don't want to know. But I do know that you've helped me clear a few cases. And once in a while, in return, I answer some of your questions. That's fine. Quid pro quo. It's not in the rule book, but it's how we get things done. But this case, it goes way up. We can't bring in anyone from outside. Not without a good reason. So Orly. give me one. A Why is reasons. this murder so important? I couldn't begin to explain it. It's more than just a murder. More horrible than just a killing. Uh-huh. Any details on what that could be? Oh. It needs to be stopped. That's all. Getting led. Sorry. I know we got an arrangement, but my hands are tied. Fine. If that's the way it is. For what Uses it's worth, his dicks, it's nothing personal. Like I said. You got other questions, I'm here. Just don't ask about this case. You get me? Yeah, I get you. It's just a police car. There's nobody inside. The station looks empty. There's just one... Can we talk Detective? inside? Detective? Uh-huh. Can we talk in... Can't smoke inside. Thanks to ah. our friend, the mayor. So you couldn't maybe, I don't know, not smoke for a while? <laughs> right. Could you tell me the victim's name at least? I told you, no. Worth a shot. Does the name Grace mean anything to you? Nah, sorry. Well, see you around. Uh-huh. Sam Durkin. I helped him with a case of his about a year ago, and then he helped me with one of mine. We've been paying each other back ever since. You really don't want to go- Oh, really? Look, you and I have an array. You go in there and start bugging my colleagues, it will come back to bite both our asses. And neither of us wants that. So we'll send Joey in there, because I forgot okay, he can't see him. fine. Keep our friend busy, I'm gonna sniff around. Not that I don't appreciate the company, but why the heck are you just standing there? Oh, um, I was just admiring A water the cooler in case the scorching hot weather gets too much for you. The brickwork. Sure. I love that they actually wrote dialogue for those two. I got no idea. Low-rise bonding, very typical of the era. At the bottom are the words, Alex Silva, Commissioner. Whatever. Just a cop manning the front desk. A modern gizmo. Probably some kind of phone. It usually is. Pretty cold to be just standing around. Isn't that what you're doing? I'm a cop in front of a cop station. Looks like some kind of duty roster. Nothing relevant. I'm, um, waiting for a cab. That's the guy. Ah George ha. Austin. There's our guy. His name is George Austin, according to this note. Looks like he lived on the Upper West Side. The plaque on the door says in... According to the nameplate, this desk belongs to someone named Disher. I have no idea who that could be. According to the nameplate, this desk Disher belongs to someone Piero. named Piero. I have no idea who that could be. That elevator should go to the rest... I'm gonna be breaking in here later. The plaque on the door... Just a small interrogation room. It's empty. Just a small inter. Just as I thought, it's in Ella. Boring. All right, let's uh, go blow that paper over. It seems like a thing you're probably supposed to do. On a night like this. Might take a while. Maybe. I'm not just gonna... No reaction. This thing with you standing around? 
It's getting kind of weird. I told you. I'm waiting I'm not for a just going to bl- The subway's just two blocks that way. I'm not just g- The stairs are icy? It says authorized- Fortunately, I think that only applies to living people. Fair enough. At the bottom are the- Okay. Yeah, we figured that out. Oh, let's see here. Seen if there's anything on the desks. That would appear to not be the case. Alright, let's go out. Everything must be blown. Everything. Why is she just stand? Don't know what surprises me more, that they make cops smoke outside or that the cops stand for it. I don't know what surprise it. Bye now. This is some lobby. Careful you don't break anything, we'll be in Hawk for life. Well, your life anyway, not m Jesus. I'm actually gonna go back to the house real quick so I can talk to her. Do some googling. Oops, caps lock again. Joey, I'd like to. Yeah. We couldn't save George Austin, but we can stop it from happening to anybody else. George Austin, With Grace Austin, maybe. <sighs> Let's Google. And I have coffee again, so I'll probably have to use it again. Alright. George Austin. Oops. Like I said, caps lock. No results found. No, oh, yeah, that's right. They said don't talk to press. That's why there wouldn't be any. Any new email? Nope. So much for that. That vase looks more expensive than everything in my apartment put together. Say real quick. Leon, please stop destroying the couch. Thank you. I don't recognize the artist, but it looks peaceful enough. He's watching my air. Hi. Yes, miss? I'm looking for George Austin. Is he in? No, he's not. Sorry. That was useful. Can you tell me anything about George? I really couldn't, sorry. If you want to know him, you should ask him yourself. Little late for that. Does the name Grace mean anything to you? Sorry. Nobody named Grace lives here. Okay. Is there any way I can look inside George's apartment? It's really important. Sorry. Unless you've been authorized, I can't let you in. Do you know where George Austin is? I really couldn't say. Sorry. Alright, ghost bro. It's not bad. Don't know what I can do. Tasteful and harmless. I suppose it suits a place like this. Smart uniform, clean cut, seems dedicated to his job. We ain't sneaking past this guy. Hopefully we won't have to. That means we'll have to. Looks like it's full of old... Old clothes, you say? Holiday clothing drive. It's cold this winter. Please leave your old clothes in the box below for people less fortunate than you. George Austin, apartment 12A. Okay, so he's a good dude. Yep, it's an. Miss, I'm sorry, but you. Oh! Alright. Well, that sucks. 
Boy, if I can... Can we blow the note? Ah. I managed to blow... Now can I blow it towards her? Yoink! Whatever Joey did, the doorman doesn't seem to have noticed. Um, dropped my pen. It's a handwritten note from George Austin, asking the residents of his building to donate old clothes to charity. I'm sure they won't miss it. It says, Holiday Clothing Drive. It's cold this winter. Please leave your old clothes in the box below for people less fortunate than you. It's signed by George Austin. Can I forge a signature, maybe? Huh. Showing that to him would pro- Okay. Thank God for 20- I should have enough- I don't see why he- I was gonna coffee him, but I guess not. Can I coffee the note? No. Okay. Uh... Oh, no. Clothing drive. Nope. Apartment 12A. Nope. Okay. Hi. Yes, miss? I, uh, heard that George Austin was having a clothing drive here. Oh, yes. George does it every year. He brings the box to Grace himself. Who's Grace? Can you tell me anything else about the clothing drive? No. But if you have any old clothes, feel free to give them to me. I'll put them in the box. Better not. If you did that, you wouldn't have any clothes left. Huh. Can you tell me- No. Better not. Do you know where- I really- Nope. Is there any way- It's real- Sorry. Maybe I can ask about Grace again. You said that George takes the there clothes we go. to Grace. Yes, he does. He has an attachment to the place, even though we've got a fine church in this area. Church? So by Grace, you meant Grace Church? Yeah, the one downtown. What did you think I meant? Nothing. Never mind. Thanks. Ah, sure. locations. Why did George go to Grace Church instead of a local one? I couldn't say. Because he's a Nimrod. Sorry. Or maybe he just needs to walk. Google. I think he's implying that she's Poe and has no money. Historic Parish, uh, Church of Manhattan, New York City, part of the Episcopal Diocese of New York. Grace Church National Historical Landmark designated for its architectural significance and place within the history of New York City. Gabriel Allman. Theological Seminary alumni, attended 1989 1993, currently based at Grace Church. Ah. There's no answer. Damn it. Alright, well, we're gonna leave. Get chatty. Got a sec? What's going on? George said that Grace wasn't safe, but he was referring to Grace Church. What did he mean? Is the church in danger? Dunno. Would a guy get that worked up over a church? I feel like it's gotta be more than that. Let's go check it out. We couldn't save George Austin, but we can stop it from happening to anybody else. With pleasure. Okay, I did a whole lot of nothing. Notes. The Grace George was referring to has to be Grace Church. Okay. That's uh, pretty useless. At least nothing we don't already know. Save. Alrighty. To the church!